Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm sharing my winter routine with you guys. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. Hello, hello, it is winter and so I decided to be all Christmassy. Okay, tell me if you can identify with this feeling. You take your hair out of your pineapple and you go, ah, oh, my roots really hurt. This was me three weeks back, but I took care of it really quick by acting in time. And so I thought, let me just get on camera and show you my winter routine so that if you're suffering from a dry scalp or your roots are really hurting, this video could help you out. It's winter and some of you might be having dandruff problems, but it is very important to distinguish between dandruff and a flaky scalp. Now, dandruff is basically when you have fungus growing on your scalp. This is commonly known as seborrheic dermatitis. If that is your problem, then the first thing you should probably do is try apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar will change the pH of your scalp and will not allow the fungus to grow. So it's really nice if you want to switch to an apple cider vinegar shampoo. Or what you could do is add some apple cider vinegar to your pre-poo treatment. I'm gonna put up two pictures of dandruff and a flaky scalp right here so that you can distinguish between the two. If you have a flaky scalp, then it all boils down to removing that buildup and you should be good. If you have seborrheic dermatitis, then here you go. This is a bottle of apple cider vinegar and water. And what you should do is just take this, spray a very generous quantity of this on your scalp before shampooing. Let this sit on your scalp for a bit. So I would say maybe 10 minutes and then after that, jump into the shower. If this doesn't work for you and you've done this for a few weeks and the dandruff persists, then I would say please go to a dermatologist. I have some of you DMing me, telling me that, hey, I went to a dermatologist, but the medicated shampoo that he gave me is not CG friendly. Look, your concern should not be if the shampoo is CG friendly or not. Right now you have fungus growing on your scalp. Please take care of that. Wash with the shampoo that the doctor gives you, follow your styling routine, you should be good. So that is what I have to say about that. Please don't shy away from medicated shampoos. Remember they're doctors, they have degrees in hair care and skin care. We on YouTube don't. Now, if you've identified that you don't have dandruff and what you have is a flaky scalp, let me try to make this a little simple. During winter, has your skin ever become so dry that it's become flaky and you notice that around your mouth or on the sides of your nose or on your hands, you have skin that is flaking. We have to remember that our scalp is also skin and therefore our scalp is also going to get dry, especially during winter. And if that is the case, then it's very, very important to moisturize the scalp as well. I would suggest going in with the WOW 10-in-1 Miracle Hair Oil. Now, I've chosen this oil because it has extra virgin olive oil, which is rich in essential fatty acids, sweet almond oil, rich in vitamin E, Moroccan argan oil, I always have a problem with that word, uh, rich in minerals and antioxidants, jojoba oil, which is rich in vitamin C, copper and zinc, grapeseed oil, which has essential nutrients, safla oil, which has oleic acid, bringraj extract, which is rich in hair protecting flavonoids. And last but not least, it says that it has rosemary and tea tree essential oil. Right here on the unicotton, it says that this hair oil helps to condition hair, reduce hair fall, strengthen roots, control dandruff, enhances hair luster, it helps to detangle, soften smooth hair, improves hair and scalp's natural lipid barrier, prevents moisture loss and tames frizzy hair. So I'm going to go in with this because Number one, I received this in PR, I tried the product a few times, I really liked it and it gave me this really nice cooling sensation on the scalp and since it says it helps with dandruff, I'm going to go in with this. 
but i think it's very important to note that i would recommend this hair oil if you have a flaky scalp not if you have seborrheic dermatitis so the oil comes with a little comb applicator but i'm not going to use this i'm just going to take the oil now you've already seen my pre poo video and you know that i use just a few drops but now that we're in winter my pre pooing techniques will be a little different what i will do is i want this oil to really go and travel all over my scalp so that i feel that you know it's it's coated most of my scalp it's moisturizing my scalp so what i will do is i will pour it directly on my scalp so that it is able to trickle and cover a larger area and since the oil is pretty wet right you will feel the oil on your hair you will feel it like traveling down you know this way and covering a larger area versus if i had to take it and sort of spread it with my hands and i guess it's important for you to identify which areas of your head are really really dry and pay a little more attention to those areas for me i would say the areas of my hair that are really dry are basically here in a u section so basically this is my dry section and then a bit here the rest is not that dry so what i'm going to do is part my hair take the bottle pour some of the oil let that travel down my scalp take another parting pour the oil down the part let the oil trickle and do its thing as you can see that's a lot of oil and it is spreading pretty well you know when your roots really really hurt especially when you take it down from the pineapple that means that your scalp is really really dry and your roots are feeling raw applying the oil this way you'll notice that the spreadability of the oil really does increase you will see that instantly with very little effort no matter where i part my hair you will see that my scalp is completely saturated and the roots of my hair are getting a bit of moisturization i want that especially cause after i go in with shampoo and look we're in india okay co washing i mean they say that if you're abroad then please co wash during winter that really helps you out it won't dry out your roots but we're in india and co washing is really really difficult here because there's so much pollution there's so much dirt there's so much dust the best way that i can explain this to you is If you're living abroad and you're living in a house that has wall to wall carpet you're fine if you run a vacuum through your house maybe once or twice a week but can you imagine living in India and having a house that has wall to wall carpet I mean come on let's be honest if you're in Calcutta or you're in a metropolitan where there's so much dirt there's so much dust there's so much pollution you can't imagine and if you have a rug in your house you know what I'm talking about so Let's take that example and talk about our scalps. Can you imagine not using a surfactant if you are in India? Now, a surfactant is something that basically removes dirt, dust, grime, right? Imagine only using a co-wash in India. It is not logical. So, when we go in with shampoo, we know that a shampoo is going to dry out our hair, right? But if you're in India, unfortunately, you don't have an option. but if you're using some oil then you probably help your hair not get that dry so yeah since it's winter there's nothing wrong with slathering a little extra oil on your hair anyway this bottle is going to last you for a very long time so yeah i've taken care of most of my problem areas and i'll take some more oil on my hands and reach these areas that i didn't get before and i'm just going to wait for this oil to nicely penetrate and sort of soften my scalp where it was very dry you will instantly notice that this oil has such a beautiful cooling effect on the scalp so i would say for winter this is a really really nice oil and plus this is 10 in 1 so if i'm getting 10 benefits in one product why the heck not So, it's not enough to just apply that oil to your head. Make sure that you massage and really exfoliate and get 
that dirt, that dry flaky skin off your head. Now, if you're getting small, small, beady, 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 beady pimples on your forehead, that is also an indication that you probably have dandruff. So it is very important for you to take care of this in time so that it doesn't get worse. Make sure you're really massaging to get rid of that flaky dry skin, all the dirt, all the grime, all the buildup, all the sweat that you have accumulated in your hair for the last week. Okay, so as you can see, this is a little extra oil, more oil than I use when I pre-poo, but during winter, I feel like this is essential. If you're having trouble washing this off, by all means, a double cleanse, which means go in with shampoo twice if you need to. If you're using a very gentle shampoo, then you probably might have to, but that's okay. As long as you're spending some time moisturizing your scalp, you should be good. Now, one last thing that I have added to my pre-poo treatment, and this has really, really helped me, is I've taken some aloe vera gel. So this is basically the Wow Skin Science aloe vera gel and it has 99% pure aloe and as we know aloe vera is extremely moisturizing now look you can go in with this as a pre-poo all on its own that's totally fine because this is extremely moisturizing but i choose to team this up with an oil and use it in combination so i look at the area of my scalp that is the worst which is basically this area right here Hopefully I'm in frame. So yeah, right here, I'm just gonna take that aloe vera. And I'm gonna pour a really nice, generous helping on my scalp. This has such a beautiful cooling sensation on the scalp. And when this is trickling all over, you'll feel it, you'll feel it move on your scalp. So you'll know exactly how much of your scalp you've gotten. Now, before rubbing it or doing anything, let that just sit for a bit. So like one or two minutes, let it just be there. Make sure you've gotten that entire section. I have, that aloe vera has covered this entire section of my hair. I can feel it trickling down my hair. Okay, so it's been a minute or two and the aloe vera gel has really had a chance to sort of spread on my scalp and it's made my roots really nice and soft. I'm just gonna massage this a bit. I hope you guys are dry scalp massaging throughout the week. I've been doing it every single day and my hair growth has been remarkable. I generally color my hair so I know when my roots grow out. And from the last time that I cut my hair, there's a video for that, I'll link it up here. So yeah, from the last time that I colored my hair, my roots have grown out twice and both times they were about one inch. So I've had to color my hair twice. Well, just my roots. And that video was not even, what, two months ago? So I would say an inch per month. That is remarkable hair growth, if you ask me. And I would attribute the results solely to dry scalp massaging. Whenever you're doing nothing, just massage your scalp. Let me know if you want a separate video for that. I'll make one. Okay, so since we've done our pre-poo in order to moisturize your scalp, right? And also remove buildup, but one of the functions here with our pre-poo is to really moisturize the scalp and treat it like skin because it's winter. What I'm going to do is I will leave my pre-poo on for at least one hour. After that, I'm going to shampoo. I'm not showing you the shampoo process because you've seen me shampoo my hair quite a bit. Okay, so after pre-pooing my hair, I shampooed my hair. And for shampoo today, I use the WOW Hair Strengthening Shampoo. This has rosemary and green tea essential oil. It has soy protein, which means that this is a protein product. I use this shampoo during winter because it has green tea and rosemary. It's extremely cooling on the scalp and it helps with dandruff. 
therefore this is my winter go-to. For conditioner, I use the Moroccan argan oil conditioner as usual and I detangled. Now, I have high porosity hair and after I condition, I deep condition. The hair mask that I'm using today is from WOW. This is their hair mask for colored and treated hair. It is their black spruce bark extract vitamin B and E hair mask. This is the Unicotin. Now, I received this product in PR and I know it is for color treated hair but that doesn't mean that if you haven't colored your hair, you can't use this mask. So, I've received quite a few masks from WOW and out of all that I received, I noticed that this is the mask that said you could apply to your scalp. It's a pretty large jar and I'm going to take a little bit of it, not too much, emulsify. Make sure when you do this, when your hair is really wet, then I'm just going to comb through. So that amount was good enough for my lengths because when I'm touching my hair, I can feel the slip. So it's good enough. It's okay to use this hair mask on your scalp. I'm going to take the same quantity. Mix it in with some water. Really emulsify. And apply this to the scalp. Now, if you have low porosity hair, then you can just squish to condition and wrap this up with a shower cap first so a really thin plastic shower cap and then follow that up with one of those flaxseed heat caps we have an instagram store which is from india selling them right now and i think they're 1100 rupees please know that i still haven't tried the flaxseed heat cap because i don't have one but if you have low porosity hair and you need some help getting that moisture into your hair then please do check it out now since I have high porosity hair, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to start twisting. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, I'm just twisting my hair. This is something that helps with curl training and since I don't need a shower cap, why not? I've been doing this for a while now and yeah, it doesn't take me any effort. You can take really thin sections and twist your hair. You can take really thick sections and twist your hair. What I generally do is I have four twists on each side. I mean, if I can curl train my hair while I'm deep conditioning, then why not? You can also finger coil while you deep condition. But trust me, this is so much easier than finger coiling. You are training your curls. You're teaching them how to form little spirals. So this is just so much easier. Can we see how long my hair has grown? I mean, look at this length. I just cut it, what, one and a half, two months ago? Look at my length. Dry scalp massaging, guys. Please get on it if you haven't gotten on it yet. It is simple enough, but if you want a video, then let me know in the comments down below and I will make one. I chose this mask specifically because I wanted to moisturize my scalp, right? And I'm looking for that extra moisturization. Which is why I would say that when it comes to this mask, try to keep it on for 30-40 minutes. In this video, I'm not showing you my styling process because guys, look, you guys have seen me style my hair so many times. I don't want to make this video unnecessarily long. So, I'll keep this on for 30 minutes. I will wash it off thoroughly. Remember, wash it off thoroughly because you have it on your scalp and you don't want that mask sitting on your scalp. So yeah, I'm gonna wash this off. I will style my hair. I will plop my hair. If it is really cold where you're living, please by all means diffuse. In Calcutta right now, yes, it is cold, but it's not that cold that I need to diffuse. So I will just air dry my hair and once I air dry my hair, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. My hair is completely dry. Today I styled with the coconut and avocado conditioner from WOW. I used the Leave-In Mousse by Enliven as my first styler. And for my second styler, I used the Enliven Blue Gel. 
this does not have protein like the other orange one I use so my hair is in a cast let me just scrunch out the crunch and then let's talk all right so these are my results as you can see I have so much volume my hair looks so nice and so big and as the days progress it's just gonna get bigger my scalp feels extremely moisturized I feel so good about my hair so that was it guys that was my winter routine hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye